Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. Today, I'm going to be showing you this rather odd vehicle for me to come across. It is a 2010 Mitsubishi Fuso dump truck. This one has a diesel engine in it. It is dual rear axle. And, well, let's just take a look at it. Certified clean idle, of course. And it's a cab over design. Cab over top of the engine. A little different. Stepping in, you're up rather high, too. Now. The mileage on this particular vehicle is 50... Sorry about that. 55,327 kilometers. We'll roll down the driver window and we'll take a look around the outside of it. And I'll show you how to operate the dump bed too. As you can see with the cab over design, you're sitting right over the wheels. Large mirrors help you navigate this thing. And you have a set of Hankook TH10. I guess those are 10 ply tires. 215 75 R 17.5 on steel wheels. Your DEF fluid, I believe. Wait, no, that, that might be DEF fluid right there. I believe it is. And I believe your hydraulic is under there. Dump bed is rather big on this particular one. And take a look under here. You have front and rear mud flaps, and you have a dual rear axle. And the rear end has Westlake 215-75R, 17.5 tires on it as well. But these are different tread patterns from the front ones. These are more of a more of an aggressive tread pattern back here. Because these are drive tires. Those are steer tires. Really clean under here. And yes, this is your hydraulic fluid level. Here's your battery for the hydraulic system. And you have a cooling system for the hydraulics too. Tie down hooks hook up there. And another right there it looks like. It runs real quiet for a diesel I must say. And to open up the back all you have to do Actually, at one side. Flip this around. Pull that out, and it opens right up. As you can see, there's the inside of it. Very big. And you have a net to go over top of whatever debris, or sand, or gravel, whatever you may have in the back of here. Closed. I think it's going to take two hands. Then we'll get the video started again. So that's all closed up now. And coming around to this side, you'll see, well, the box does have a little bit of a dent in it there, but this is a work truck. And this was bought as a work truck, so I'm not really surprised. I cannot show you the engine in this one completely because it is underneath the cab. But once I lift up the, the bed, or the dumper, which I'll lift up right now. I can show you it a bit. So, how you operate this dumper is, it is in the cabin on this one. It's that right in the middle. Pull towards me to go up. Like so. 
And I'm doing something wrong. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. I'll be right back. I'm not sure how to operate that. <clears throat> okay guys, so I can't exactly figure out how to operate this. I'm sorry about that. But uh, it is operated by this and it was working because I, I did drop it down to drive it over here. But we can show you the engine from here. That is a 4.9 liter engine, 16 valve, and it puts out 185 horsepower at 2700 RPMs. Not a lot of power for this, but the torque comes in at a really low, much lower rating. And I believe this is also turbo diesel. So, being a turbo diesel, the RPMs probably get max torque at about 1900, which is an amazing torque band. We'll step right in now. Close up the window and we'll check out the interior which is also rather odd you have your DEF fluid bottle up here I believe that is or no maybe not that's maybe brakes there's some sort of fluid up there handle pull right here window locks you have your dome lights your gauge cluster lighting and your I'm not sure what that is to be honest your power locks not sure what that is either. This is a heavy duty truck kind of thing and I'm not really sure on it too much. But your oil check, your auto on and off, I'm not sure what that is either. That might be cruise control. And that's cruise control there too. So that's, oh that's cruise control on and off. And then that sets it right there. You have your single disc CD player, single DIN, your very basic climate controls, AC right there. That races the engine right up when you put the AC on. Hazards, power outlet, and your gear shifters right here. Reverse does beep in this. And you have a storage pocket there. Two cup holders there. I'm guessing there's fuses or something back there. And you have a glove box right over there with a storage pocket right there. One more storage pocket here. One more in the back. If you lift this up, you end up getting a third seat. So this seats three people with a cup holder here and a storage pocket here. Your e-brake is located right here. Pretty spacious in here actually surprising ashtray right there another storage pocket there almost like a business card holder here now we'll take a, one look around the outside again you'll see these big mirrors to help you drive this big vehicle and then we'll call that a video so this is a 2010 Mitsubishi Fuso with a diesel engine, 4.9 liter or 48.99 cc, automatic transmission, dump bed on it, nice looking truck, great workhorse. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and share this video as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day everyone.